Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Yohan, and if you're new here, thank you so much for watching my video. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Continue to stay subscribed, and um, if you are not subscribed already, let me just mention, um, click the subscribe button below. It's free, it will only take a second, and it will be great too if you could just join this little community that I'm trying to build here online. So in today's video, I thought I'd do a little something fashioning again. Um, I know it's not the most popular thing that I do, but I thought, you know, what if you're doing a virtual date? What if you are, um, you know, going on a socially distant date? Uh, what would I wear? Um, uh, you know, on your first date um, back into society, if you haven't been on a date in a long time, um, you know, like I haven't um, been, um, but if you wanted to go on a socially distant walk or if you are doing just a FaceTime uh, or video kind of hang out with someone, uh, what can you wear? You know, something that looks nice on top, something that's simple, something that's elegant. I always like to try to keep it simple, mostly classic. Whenever I don't do something classic, I do something maybe a little bit more um, like kooky, um, a little more interpretive. But I'm coming at you guys with a different angle. Hopefully you guys like it, by the way. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd start off and kind of show you guys a couple maybe um, tops that I would wear for the fall, winter um, that you can wear on a socially distance date or if you are um, doing like a video hangout with someone. So stick around if you want to watch more. And thank you. So the first thing that I would like to share with you guys is this top by Mott & Bow. Um, I was provided this by the PR team. They reached out to me. I know this little channel, somebody reached out to me and they offered me to pick out a couple pieces. I think they're a relatively new brand. They're out of New York and they really are focusing on classics. Um, and I do often <laughs> wear a lot of classics. So uh, one of the things I picked out was this classic um, cashmere navy blue sweater. I think you can go back <laughs> and look at most of my videos. In the thumbnails, I'm wearing something either blue, um, white, gray, or somewhere in that family. A lot of my clothes are in that same family. So it definitely stuck to my kind of personal style um, when it came to selecting something like this. I think it's a great fit and it is a nice cashmere feel. Um, and I'll link it down below if you guys are interested in looking at these tops. I know they offered me to do like, um, what's it called, an affiliate link, um, but I don't really understand how those exactly work. So I'm just putting down the link to the top if you guys wanna get it. It's a really nice fit. Um, it is tighter on the bottom as it goes down, um, but I think it's really true to its size. I'm wearing a medium if you guys are interested in knowing what I'm wearing. But uh, yeah, I really recommend this top. I additionally have um, a pair of pants that I will put on and show you guys in a second as well from Matt and Bo um, that I've worn a couple times already um, that I definitely recommend as well. I only have one suggestion for the pants. So in the next clip, you guys will maybe see me wearing the pants. So I am back and I'm trying to figure out the best angle to like show you the pants. Um, I'm not filming my little corner like I usually am. So hopefully this turns out fine or okay. Um, yeah. I'm sorry. So these pants are the Matt and Bow pants. Um, these are like a chino pants. Um, and I'll show you guys on my mirror here. I'll try to like um, turn it around maybe. Okay. So these are these pants by Matt and Bow. Um, I am wearing slippers at home. Um, but these pants are a black, maybe a little bit of a a little great undertone um, on these pants. The only recommendation I have for these pants, I really, really like them. They're a chino, they're like a slim, um, straight pant. The only thing is that I would recommend that you size up one size than you usually get. Um, that's something that I noticed um, when I put these on. I'm like, okay, I'm usually like a 32 like a pretty true 32 sometimes it can feel like a 30 depending on the brand but most of the time i order 32 and i'm completely fine that's the only thing i would say about these pants is that if you are going to order your true size it's going to fit very snug uh, so i would size up one size um but i definitely recommend these pants if you guys want to wear them um 
Obviously, if you're going to go on a socially distant walk, you're going to wear wearing pants. But if you're doing a virtual kind of date situation, you're going to, you know, just be wearing something at the, at the top. So I have a couple of things that I will show you guys and I'll continue on with the little vlog. Um, but yeah, I just want to show you guys these pants as well. I'll link them down below. The really cool thing about these pants, too, is that they're very stretchy. So like a person like me, I have bigger thighs. So one of my biggest problems is like when I get something form fitting, I'm not able to be really able to move as much if it's not a stretchy material. Um, but I definitely like these pants and I would recommend them for you guys. Again, I'll link them down below. It's not an affiliate link, um, but I was provided this by their brand, um, Matt and Bo, um, if you guys wanna check them out. All right, guys, so the next top that I have, oh my God, is it blue? <laughs> it's, I think it's a blue, I thought it was black, but it's a blue, navy, uh, dark navy blue sweater. Um, this is from Mango. Um, I really like the classic fit of the sweater, uh, but I really, 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 the most important, like, you know, standout piece of the sweater is obviously the uh, design here on top. I thought it was kind of, it's it's very giving me, um, what's it called, the movie Black Panther, um, you know, kind of like the costume on top with the necklace. I didn't really think about that when I bought it, but I really, really really like this design on top it's kind of like if you're doing a virtual hangout if you're hanging out with somebody facetiming with somebody you know if you kind of want to have a um what's it called make a little classic but um a little bit of a twist kind of impression on them on what you're wearing you can wear something on top obviously this is probably what you're cropping out it's going to be like your shoulders and up um but i really like this um sweater it is a wool sweater so it's a little bit itchy um, so if you're a person that's, you know, doesn't like itchy things, I would maybe stay away from this one. Um, if you wear something underwear, like a long sleeve t-shirt, if you're layering it with something, the neck, it does come up a little higher. So if you wear a long sleeve t-shirt, you're not going to see the line. Or if you wear an undershirt, um, just to provide an itchiness on your chest or your shoulders, but obviously you're going to feel some itchiness on your arm. But yeah, I really like the fit of this sweater. Um, I think it's something that we'll see on my wardrobe and I think I've said this before on my other fashion videos It's like I've had things on my wardrobe for years and years and years I think that one of the best things in terms of being like sustainable at um, With your wardrobe is that you wear things that um, are not just trends um, You wear things that are more classic or that will stay in your wardrobe for years to come I have things for Literally some items I've had for as long as I've been this size, which is maybe five or six years. Um, you know, things I don't have in my wardrobe anymore is because they don't fit me. Um, but I think this is something that will fit me for a long time. Um, I'm relatively the same size most of the time. I mean, if I gain 10 or, or lose oh, 10 or gain 10 pounds, I'm usually around the same size. Um, but I really, really like this top. It is just like a blue. If you guys see under, it's just like a classic um, fit under that as well. But yeah, I definitely recommend this top two um, for like a little virtual hangout date. So we go from something <laughs> a little bit more, you know, classic with a kind of mix to something more standard. Um, I actually, it's just a white thermal um, that I have on right now. This is actually from Apricorn Green Fitch. Um, it's definitely not a brand that I buy from all the time, but I think that I've been looking at their things more recently and I think that, I don't know if they've changed their creative director or the design team, but they're definitely going towards something that I'd like to wear. Um, the price point is reasonable. And again, it's something classic. I know when it comes to sustainability, Abercrombie and Fitch is not great. You know, Mango has a sustainability line, but I will say that even though I've ordered some sustainable things from Mango, um, the packaging is full, full of extra packaging. I mean, I've ordered things from ASOS. It's probably the, the like the, <laughs> not the best, you know, example, but the, you know, the online retail that I order from the most is probably ASOS. Um, compared to ASOS, the amount of plastic that's involved in a mango order is, you know, even if it's a sustainable organic cotton or organic, um, you know, kind of product, um, there's plastic, there's a plastic bag and there's plastic pins all through uh, the garment holding it together, the shirt or the sweater, um, which is like a lot of extra plastic that I don't think this is necessarily necessary. If you fold the item well enough, if you put maybe a little um, fabric tape um, to kind of <laughs> hold it together, hold the kind of the fold together, um, that's fine. But I feel like mango 
that's a lot of extra plastic i think mountain bow upper covering fit really simple um packaging uh, not an overdoing of plastic um so but yeah i thought this is a great if you're looking just like hey i look something really basic but i want to look nice and presentable this specific um top by upper covering fitch this kind of thermal um shirt hanley shirt um it's really really good i think it's a really good fit i think it's a good fit on my arms and on the rest of my body i think i have a picture on instagram um if you follow me on instagram it's probably one of my last pictures where i'm wearing this shirt um you know and i will continue to wear it uh, i think it's a great fit and it's a great value and i'll try to link it down below again these are not affiliate links but if you guys want to kind of pick up some of the items i'm mentioning you can feel free to do so um, if you'd like um, but yeah maybe i'll try to do one more um kind of pick up and i'll show you guys another thing um these things are relatively new um in my wardrobe um but you know i you know feel like i needed these kind of um, small little pieces um uh, in my wardrobe so you know I, i'm not an over shopper but i'm sort of rewarding myself for 2020 um in the year that it was um in the good and the bad all right guys so the next item that i have is this um cardigan sweater situation from mango i have it on with one of my t-shirts with that i've worn in videos this at least t-shirt that i got from asos years ago um but this specific item right here it's something that i've wanted um in kind of this tone for a very long time i know it's like a gray a dark gray it's probably really a lighter gray on, on my phone right now because i am from my window and it's kind of washing it out a little bit but it's in person it's a little bit of a darker gray um kind of wool a sweater cardigan situation um with a kind of um, a turtleneck vibe but i really really wanted something like this i mean for years um kind of backstory i had something like this when i started about in italy um, if you guys want to hear about my study abroad experience let me know in the comments down below um i can tell you how i did it how i managed to do it kind of being a poor kid um who wanted to study abroad and how i was able to achieve it um but i had a black um, kind of item just like this that i loved this is like back in 2014 and i had to leave it back and i had to leave it lots of my clothes behind not lots but unfortunately my clothes behind because my bag was overweight and i really didn't have a lot of money to um pay for the overweight bag so i kind of threw some of my items away in the garbage in the airport in florence italy um but anyways i digress it's an item that was very similar to the one that i'm wearing right now um but it was in black and i loved that item to death and i wore it all the time because it was so simple to throw on a shirt to throw on a t-shirt and just throw this under and it's keep you warm it kept you cozy but you also looked good at the same time um but this is definitely one of those other things that i would wear if i was on a virtual date if i was gonna go on a date with someone i was gonna layer under and I put a coat or something over um additionally matt and both did send me uh, a scarf which i absolutely love it's not the kind of styling video where i'm styling um like outdoor wear um but you can check it out i'll link it down below the scarf it's really long scarf um it's black the one that i got um it's super soft super cozy super warm i've worn it out to go on walks with chase um it's fantastic <laughs> i mean i don't really go out very much maybe to the shops grocery stores lows for house stuff um but i definitely definitely recommend that scarf too because it's a really nice material just like the pants I, I mean it's not the same material as the pants but i really like the material of the pants and i like the material of the scarf a lot because it surprised me i didn't know how it was going to feel but i really really like that scarf as well um so i'll link it down below i'll try to link all the items i'm talking about down below for you guys hopefully they're left in some sizes um if not i'll try to find something similar for you um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's, um, hopefully it's a short one. You know, I can talk forever, um, but I wanted to do more fashion and related things. I appreciate all the new subscribers. I mean, I want to thank all the new people who have subscribed to my channel. It's 
think since last my last video, which you know a lot of people typically watch them the video. Um, I, I got a lot of new subscribers, and I really appreciate you guys subscribing. Um, please feel, um, feel feel share. Feel free to like the uh, hit the like button down below. Um, share the videos um, with your friends, family, and ask them to subscribe if you'd like. Um, but I really, really appreciate it. I hope you guys are feeling the positive vibe and I'm trying to be as authentic as I can be like I mentioned before. Um, I usually am just rambling on. I'm not really practicing anything. I'm just being myself. Um, so hopefully you guys are enjoying watching my videos and I apologize I wasn't able to upload last week, um, but I hope to be more consistent, at least uploading once a week. So this video is either going to go up on Tuesday or it's going to go up on Friday. So we'll see. Um, I don't know if which is the best upload day do you think you guys would like? Would you prefer that I upload on Fridays? That's the last video that I uploaded was on a Friday. Um, and, or do you prefer that I upload on a Tuesday? Let me know in the comments down below. Feel free to chat with me in the comments. I think I'm usually really, really good at responding um, people back in the comments. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys are having a great day, morning, evening, whenever you're watching this video. Um, but yeah, thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.